On our last video about my trip to French and Italian Riviera, we saw all of the locations we visited in the beginning of the trip, where we started in France. On today's vlog, it's time to show you what we saw in the Italian Riviera, also known as Liguria. I mentioned these locations on my other videos about Liguria, so you might have heard about them already. The first day in Italy, we explored Santa Margherita Ligure, Portofino and San Fruttuoso. Santa Margherita Ligure is a colorful town on the way to Portofino and so it is really difficult to miss it. We loved the colorful harbor where we took some pictures and since we woke up quite late, we didn't spend much time exploring this location, but we went straight to Portofino instead. Since I heard that the hike to Portofino would be fairly easy and have good views, we decided to walk there, which took us about an hour and 40 minutes under the extremely hot sun and 28 degrees. Anyways, we finally arrived at Portofino, one of my favorite locations of this trip. Portofino is mostly associated with celebrities and so you will find lots of luxurious shops and you might consider bringing your own food if you are on a budget. Portofino is fairly small, but has quite a lot to do. We explored the harbor, went up to the viewpoint in front of the San Giorgio church, and then we walked a little higher to Castle Brown, where we paid 5 euros to see some nice galleries about the history of the town and have the best view of Portofino. To finish our day, and since we didn't have much more time, we took the last ferry to San Fruttuoso, a true hidden gem in the Italian Riviera. And if you're not into exploring places, then do like this guy here. We didn't stop at all until this point, so now we finally had time to take some selfies, to have pizza for lunch, to enjoy the views, and to really have an idea of what summer is like around this area until we finally got to the beautiful place of San Fruttuoso. If you're visiting San Fruttuoso, make sure to check Christ of the Abyss if you like snorkeling and diving, and unlike me, you're allowed to submerge. about 45 minutes in here and then we had to go back before sunset. We decided to hike back and the views were so incredible it was totally worth it to do it. We managed to complete the hike in about an hour and 30 minutes and we felt completely off with our sweaty clothes when we got to the harbor at dinner time and everyone was dressing fancy and having seafood meals. Well, maybe I'll be that person next time, just not on this trip for sure. The following day, we had the goal to visit two less popular destinations in Liguria, Sesto Levante and Camoli. After roaming on the colorful streets of Sesto Levante and taking pictures on every corner, we got to the beautiful Silent Bay, which is the highlight of this town. Since I wanted to see the best view to the bay, I walked a bit towards the viewpoint where, of course, I had way too much fun with my camera while my travel buddy was enjoying a swim on the other side of the bay. After cooling down in the 
waters of this free beach, we took the train to Camoli to enjoy the last hours of the day here. I instantly fell in love with this town as we walked through its colorful streets towards the harbor and even got greeted by its fishermen. As you can see, Camoli is beautiful from every angle, so I'll just let you appreciate it. Day, it was a time to explore the famous Cinque Terre. We visited them on a quite random order because we were limited in time, but I would recommend you to either start in Monte Rosso or Rio Maggiore. On this day, we visited Rio Maggiore, one of the most popular five lands of Cinque Terre, and Coniglia, the less popular of them all. <laughs> Bem, estou a gravar. Cornelia doesn't attract many tourists for different reasons. It is the only land that is not accessible for sea and you have to climb 380 steps to get to what it seems to be the less visually attractive land. The following day was a bit interesting as we got kicked out of our host house for blocking his toilet with a natural number 2. Yep, that actually happened. I talked about this on my Instagram and you can find it on my highlights and who knows one day I might do a video on this spectacular occasion. Anyways, we started our day in Manarola, one of the most popular lands. Even though I loved Manarola, Vernazza was officially my favorite land. Vernazza has many viewpoints and all of them offer a different yet stunning panoramic view. And you all know how much I love a good viewpoint. <laughs> to finish the day, we headed over to Monte Rosso, where we walked around a bit to appreciate the views over the coast and also saw a group of young people doing what it seems to be a music clip or maybe just a TikTok. Thank you so much for watching. That was it for the Summer Riviera trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a thumbs up. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye! Oh, and if you liked our floss on the previous video, make sure you watch for a few more seconds of extra fun. Nice